Hi everyone, in this video we are going to do some calculation on inductor and make an inductor using magnetic core. The core we are using is 00779358A7. This is the data sheet of the magnetic core. The key parameters are magnetic path LE, cross section area AE, relative permeability, if we want to know how many turns winding we need for a 100 microhenry inductor, we need to calculate how much inductance one turn can give. We first calculate the permeability by time 1.257 times 10 to the power of minus 6 um, to the relative permeability. And then we use L equals to mu AE divided on LE to get one term of winding can give us 97.1 nano Henry. But we actually don't need this long way to get this value. Here is the data sheet. We have AL is the value of one term inductance. It's very close to the value we calculated. So to design a 100 microhenry inductor, we can directly use n equals to square root of L divided on AL. We know we need 33 turns winding. We can use this 37.5 millimeters as one term length times 33 turns we get 1.24 millimeters. I suggest you cut 1.4 to 1.5 meters wire for your inductor. The wire I used has a diameter of 0.035 inch, approximately is AWG19, which can tolerate current to 14 amps. When you winding your inductor, my suggestion is first start at the middle of the wire and each side wire 17 turns. Two, make every wind as tight as you can. LCR meter to check and confirm the inductance value and its equivalent serial resistance value. Before we do that, don't forget to use sandpaper to remove the surface of the wire. Then we can put the inductor on LCR meter. We can see that when the frequency is at 100 kHz, we have 113 microhenry inductance and the ERS is 942 milliohm. That's all about inductor calculation and design. Thank you for watching this video. We will see you next video.